Welcome to this comparative video series of OmniPeak and Wireshark. Today, we will cover the Tattletale Protocol. The Tattletale Protocol we decided to focus on today is ARP, and what can it show us? Remember, devices find each other by using the ARP protocol. Since ARP is the glue between the MAC address and the IP address, it's basically how machines find each other on an IP-based network. When looking at ARP behavior, we can determine many things. For example, if there is a machine with a high amount of ARP request, that machine is typically trying to connect to other devices if there are not repeated responses to those requests. If we see that the request in the ARP is exactly the same IP address being asked for, it tells us that it's looking for a specific machine that may be down or offline. Remember, ARP as a protocol creates broadcasts on the network. So this can create an excessive amount of background traffic on your network as well. ARP can be used to do an ARP poison by sending a gratuitous ARP across the network, basically letting other machines know that its IP address is the same as another machine. So let's start with Wireshark. The one thing I like to do is determine the protocol breakdown. ARP request packets versus ARP receive packets. And so we'll go into the protocol hierarchy, look for an address resolution protocol, and we'll see that it doesn't necessarily break it down. So we'll apply a filter called ARP. And we can see that there's a lot of ARP packets, but it doesn't tell me who's ARPing. So we'll go to endpoints and we'll sort by transmitted packets. Now, the one thing that you'll notice when you look here, and if you're not very careful, you need to limit to the display filter, you're getting everything. This will change your results and, and make a big difference. So now that we have the top ARPer with uh, the amount of uh, response packets of zero, we're gonna go ahead and select related packets, and we're gonna close. And in this column, the first thing to notice is be very careful. So 192.168.4.46 is the requester, and we see that he's requesting for 2.38 and 2.39 repeatedly over and over again. Now looking at OmniPeak, you'll notice that op requests are at the top of the protocols view. We're going to go through and look at the protocol statistics and notice that you can look at protocols in a flat perspective or you can also look at it from a hierarchical. When looking at a hierarchical, you'll notice that ARP requests and ARP responses are broken out into two and we'll notice that we have more requests than responses. We'll select by that, copy to a new window. Now what this allows us to do is look at the data to see all of the ARP requests that are coming in. Now we still need to look to figure out who is ARPing the most and looking at that node view shows us who the top one is and we'll do a select related by source and destination. Copy that selection off to a new window and we'll get the same summary stats as we did before. You'll notice here that you see just the summary of the address that's being ARPed for 238 and 129 respectively. As you can see, our objective in looking at ARP can be achieved using both products. Obviously, leveraging visualization within OmniPeak allows us to see the data a lot more clearer. Using select related and drilling down and creating different views makes it much easier as well to follow a workflow.